Hello back again to the next part. Today we make the ashtray and the lighter here. So what we need. We start with the screencast keys. Then I make add a mesh. Scale them in the X a little in the set. We see here some roundness in. That means we must go there and um, get this um, plane there and extrude scale them to a smaller one, but each small as series. So we track them down and a little bit more in the set, such like that. And we should pull them out. So we make it extrude and pull them out. So now we need to round up this stuff so that we go here and make a middle loop in there. Then we take that loop at first. We make here this last thing smaller. Then we get this middle loop, scale them to more inside than outside, because now we bevel, control B, mark that, and roll it. Then we have that round stuff there, like it is here. We give a smooth on them. We see we have the shading arrows, like every time. Uh, here, we surely um, need to extrude again and scale in that we become the thickness here. So we scale in the X. Then we don't need here is open. So we can delete this uh, down parts. So X edges, we can delete this edges there. The last one we let because we have there. Oh, we can delete it. Okay, so delete it. Good. Uh, good. Uh, we see that it is uh, round at the edges here. So we go in there and make here two loops scale to the X to give them a range where we bubble. We don't want to make it in the whole size of them. So we make here loops and with these loops we can control in which uh, area the bevel should work. Uh, the same we'll make here, go deeper. Uh, we scale it to the set zero to get a straight line. That's better to control. Good. Here we have the problem that we have no closed uh, thing, so we can't bevel there. So we get here this um, edge selection, mark the three and close them. Then we have one that we can control. And here the same, close this one. Okay. So now we can bevel. Uh, we only can try to bevel it completely. Control B, move the mouse and roll the mouse button, the middle mouse button. And yes, for the start we can let that there. Yeah. It's not really good, it's not really bad. So that is okay. We take that one here, control B, bevel, and roll the middle mouse. Okay. Uh, we have shading arrows, that means we must make here a loop to get them away. And here a loop at the front. Same we must do with the front, or we must sharpen things um, 
then we don't need a bubble for that. So that means we can go here, face selection, and uh, select the front faces here, and say to them they can be flat. So UV shading flat, and then there is no shading arrow there. Uh, here we must make it the other way, but at the moment we have to do other things. So we go here, vertex select with background selection, and make that straight all. So we mark here and scale set zero. So we have a straight looking effect there. Um, it is a little bit uh, too thick here, I think. Uh, so we can control plus, mark them, and and scale them a little in the set. Or better, scale it without giving access. We scale it. Yeah, that looks better. Then normally we we must round up here too, but I don't want to make it as harder as it must be in real. That later sees nobody. So uh, the next is we make this um, light lighter thing. So we make that here. We add mesh cube, scale them down, bringing to the size of the original. Okay, then we see we have here a hole and there a hole. So how we make that? Simply we go edit mode, make a loop in the middle where we want to cut there. And then uh, we take here uh, the front face, extrude scale that we have this middle part there, the same with this, extrude scale, make it first at the set direction that it fits, and then scale set to bring it up to the thickness we need. Thing that can work, we grab it in the set and little, yeah, such like that, good. Uh, now we have that so we don't need the background so we get here root selection with background but border selection mark all delete okay then we take the faces x and only words uh, only faces sorry and so we have that done this one is a round thing and for round things, you know, we use bevel. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we make it with curve modifier, the Bezier curve modifier. Rotate x 90 degrees, scale down, bring it at a start where we can line up to it. That is here. Then we bring that in the middle of the roundness, at the end of the roundness, grab them, position them, same here, same here. Then here we extrude from the middle point to this point, grab, set them. Here is a short way so that is too long for that so we go here back so that we can control that what we make we go here to the end of that roundness drag them to this position then we go with x through the middle point to this point is the end of our roundness like such like that um, the rest is now extruding 
here is a point that we can go grabbing middle point extrude to the down part and from here to oh, to this point here grabbing rotate that in the middle of them okay grabbing middle point to middle point after close we see now that is uh, turned in the wrong direction that means we must go here up to our middle point drag that here out to control that and then we have it good that was this part we can bring it in front we can go in edit mode we can make a shift d a copy of that then we can take it and that is a curve now in the moment and we need a mesh so control c uh, alt c to make it to mesh and then we see we have here a mesh and we can close that with f so we have our symbol done that comes on the lighter later good uh, we see this lighter has different parts so we start at mesh circle 32 is a little bit too much we make it with 24 rotate x90 scale them to size that looks like that then we go in edit mode extrude scale for the first one there is this green thing but that is half round so we need uh, in the middle here a loop then we bring out the inner circle and the middle circle a little out uh, now you can bevel them if you want but uh, later with a smooth on it uh, it is okay so yeah so i'll add it good then the middle ring extrude a little bit out then extrude and scale to the middle that is the silver part there there is the same we go here a little bit out make there an inner loop and drag them a little bit out too then we have this round looking stuff here at the end we extrude a little to the back that it looks better we are now here and we need now here a deep uh, cut in there so we get this line here extrude and move it into extrude scale a little and extrude and put it out again so we have this cut here then the same as before extrude scale to this point drag them a little out make their own loop in the middle and bring them out so we are at this point now here is a cut too like here so we take the inner ring extrude and move them into extrude scale to make it a little bit smaller extrude and move them outward then we have here this middle thing and that isn't straight that is a little bit round so we make here extrude scale to this point bring them out extrude scale a little more bring them out and f to close and we have this thing done good uh, we need to um, make them with coloring and texturing and this whole shit uh, we make that all later with all things that we build it but uh, in a moment we only build 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 and then 
we see uh, texturing and so on lighting and much more so add mesh um, cube we make this back round thing there so scale in the x mm, it must be a little bit more scale x and scale set scale set what do you want from me Oh, it's changed this language every time. Scale, set. So, um, that is what we have now. We bring that at the same position. That here is where it is on the same level. Then, then we have here this back part. And you see this back part is here deeper. So, we bring it here and take the front face and extrude scale them to such like scale and x that then we bring them in to the y and we have that effect that they have here too we see here is a closed part so we get here a loop in to separate that from the rest and then we have that uh, now we can uh, delete this uh, front face here so x only faces that is now open at this point you see it here um, then we make here an outer line too so we get around that whole line there and extrude scale to bring them a little bit brighter uh, round thing there good um, now we have that we only must go back that we have all onto it um, this one must be in this thing so uh, we see it here the back part we can bring it near together we can scale that whole thing in the scale y to make it smaller and bring it in you see here is the separation so we bring it more to this size and we see it hits here so we scale it in the x to bring in correctly into and we scale the whole thing in the set scale set so that it fits good uh, yeah that is good uh, this one here we position them better a little such like that then we test where it goes in here it goes in so position them there good uh, we have done that we can mark them all together and join them as one so we have that whole thing here okay we have that done uh, we have here this symbol that we can join together too grab we make it under it so that we don't forget it forget it um, then we take this here our lines and move them with them to level two because in one we don't need that we make this thing here now that is a cube we scale it in the set a little we scale it in the x a little good then we scale it in the y to something like that okay then we make here at the end an extrude scale then we'll scale to the set and you see that is a little other stuff there so extrude we go out a little 
then we extrude scale again to line up with the rest but not completely line up with a little smaller part so something like that and then we go out with that and then we have that effect there that there looks something out of that air good uh, then we make the same on the other side we extrude scale scale in the set extrude drag them out to the X a little extrude scale make a little bit greater but not too much and extrude bring them out to the X and we have that thing uh, now we see here is a um, an whole thing there and so we make here add mesh circle 24 is okay rotate is 90 scale down to that size that could be that bring that in the middle and in front of the object because we make now project cut you know that from other times before we made that so uh, mark that at second go in edit mode a to select all tools knife project jump and then we can drag this away and now when we go in edit mode we have here this hole in uh, we see that is a deeper part there so we extrude that now in the y extrude scale that a little in and extrude scale it and bring it out so yeah so we have that thing here and you see in the middle is a, a hole so we make there a hole um that means we go there and take a knife and get here from this middle point to this middle point space to accept from here left click left click space and then we make here a cut to there same on the other side you can also work with the mirrors then you don't make things double uh, so uh, we see that thing is uh, deeper that goes in so we extrude and bring them in and then we have that good we see this all in all a little bit smaller not as long as this one so we take all these words here and bring them a little to the side same here and then we have that good that here we can make to our second layer like ever and this we bring down so that we see that when we need that good um i save at the moment then we have to do this uh, things here the buttons so add mesh cube scale them like the size of the bottom is then we see that has a this part there so we go in make a loop there then we scale the whole thing in the y such like that then we get this back part these two words and bring them up so we have that what we need there you see that is half red and half black so we make a loop and then we can give them the color later that we need so uh, the back part we mark completely so and then make 
extrude scale then bring it with extrude and drag them to the Y and extrude scale again and extrude and bring it back in the Y so we have that looking that is deeper there and that is a real thing good we have one we make from them shift D duplicate for this for this so we have three that is one that we need two so we rotate y 90 degrees and we have that two that's good so we get them all and bring them back that we see them good we see here more things we make this here add mesh uh, cylinder yeah we can make it so then we give here three and then rotate x 90 degrees and rotate y 90 degrees and rotate x 90 degrees and we out from front and the back part we delete we don't need them so we have that symbol now and make it on the same size as here good a little smaller okay good then we have that uh, circle there so we add mesh circle with 24 maybe 12 is enough for that rotate x90 scale down edit mode close with f good so we have that and we have that we bring them down to our point and we see on the other side there's the same but the other way in the other color so we go down to our part there and shift d to duplicate them and this one here we rotate y 180 and then we have that direction too good uh so uh, we need this here and this so add mesh plane rotate 90 x 90 scale down scale x shift d okay bring them together we join that was that bring them to the other ones yes then what we have there is this symbol there we make it the same as before we get here this triangle bring them up to there oh sorry we make surely a copy of that shift d then grab and then bring it up to this point where we see that we scale them a little up grabbing scaling that is it okay then we go edit mode mark all extrude scale x to delete only face and then we only need to make here only phase two and now we have that symbol there good we bring them back to the rest so we have that we have that we have that that is correct this one we can build fast uh, so mesh plane rotate x90 scale down scale down like that okay then we get the down edge bring them to this point uh, make it a little bit smaller i think okay bring it to this point now uh, extrude 
bring them down to this position make here a loop in get this word uh, edge here extrude bring it to this position rotate y to a straight line then we make here a loop at the top we scale there oh we make it all the way i see it that is kinder kaka we say um so we add mesh plane rotate x90 scale down uh, edit mode we delete the three words that only one is left then we get this word grabbing position them there extrude bring them down extrude to the middle extrude up extrude down like here this shit is and then go down thing on it is it is a little thing later yeah like i every time say what you don't see it is not important yeah so and close that with the f we see that is a little bit more to the side here so make it as it is here you can tweak them long time to find you know, the absolutely positions but i don't make that that is your turn if you want good uh we go here a little bit deeper so good uh, then we make here this thing around so with f we can close that then we take here a plane two rotate x90 scale uh, then we scale it in the x we go in edit mode face select extrude scale such like that then x only face again only face good so we get that out we get that out too good we make them both together join we have that symboled up good we bring them down too good uh for today i will say that is okay what we done uh next part is to make this um for the gas and, and the brake and something else uh this is the brake that we make them later then we have here to do the pedals there then the next is uh for the gears that to do that so i uh, thank you for that i'll uh, see you in the next part